What's happening guys? So today I want to talk about bodybuilding training versus powerlifting training. And this is actually stemming from a comment I got in a YouTube video I did recently. And somebody was saying that basically there's no difference between the two. And as long as you equate volume, it's the exact same. And this is all stemming from some research. And there was a study that was done by Brad Schoenfeld in 2014, where they basically they took subjects and they had them either do a powerlifting style training where they did seven sets of three with three minute intervals between sets and the other group did a more kind of prototypical bodybuilding style of training where they did three sets of 10 and uh, they only had, I believe, 90 second sets between each set. And what they did was tra they equated training volume to see if training volume was the main indicator of muscle growth or if there was actually like a specific rep range that was better for actually building muscle. You know, so a lot of times we hear that, you know, for building strength, we need to go lower rep. For building muscle, we need to do more like moderate reps, like between maybe six and 12. And then for muscle endurance, we need to go higher rep and do just a crap load of reps. <laughs> so this study looks at this and what they actually found was that it was very much true that when you tr when we equated training volume that the actual difference in hypertrophy was there was no difference it was exactly the same and they actually saw that the, the group that did the seven sets of three saw better increases in strength from it so we have to, we look at that and we can go it can be very easy to go okay like it doesn't matter it works the same either way in fact Let's look at the strength work and say, hey, they build more strength. If you have more strength, you can then move more weight and then in turn create more training volume, which is gonna be the key indicator of building extra muscle down the road. We need to see that volume go up. So we should just go heavy, right? Like it's just gonna be better for building muscle. Well, we have to keep some things into play here. While yes, both groups saw the same results with regards to building muscle, and the one group that did the lower rep work saw a better increase in strength, there's some major drawbacks to that training style as well, right? It was seven sets of three with three minute intervals. That takes a long time to do versus three sets of 10 with 90 seconds intervals. So obviously you would get the work done a lot faster to create the same amount of volume. You also get much less beat up doing three sets of 10 than you do doing seven heavy sets, right? It's much less fatiguing. And in fact, the dropout rate was much higher in that study for the group that did the seven sets of three. And that's not really a big surprise. You're gonna get pretty beat up doing a lot of heavy work all the time. So we can't just rely on it. But I do think there's some important things to take away from this study, and that is that, hey, there are benefits to all rep ranges. And I think that's true for any, any type of lifter, whether you wanna be a power lifter or a bodybuilder or whatever else, I think there's benefits to including all rep ranges in your training program. It's just, say, if your goal is maximum strength, like a power lifter, you're probably gonna spend more time in the lower rep range, more strength focused type work. It's much more specific to you. If you're a bodybuilder, you're gonna probably spend more time in moderate to higher reps because it's a little bit more specific to you and you can get much more training volume in and much less time without beating yourself up so much so you can stay healthy and and if you stay healthy, you can create more volume over time because you're in the gym longer and you're gonna get better results. So we have to take it and look at it as a whole. We always need context. I talk about this with dieting all the time too. We always need context when it comes to types of foods. Same thing comes with training. We need context. We can't just stay, even as a power lifter, you don't wanna just do nothing but sets of singles or doubles or triples. Like you're going to be so beat up at a certain point the return on investment is not going to be there. You need to go through some volume blocks. You need to go through different phases and include all types of rep ranges in your training. We just want to be more specific to whatever we're doing. So if you're a bodybuilder, you're going to spend more time in those high rep ranges, right? And that's fine. But there's also benefit of being a, a bodybuilder and doing lower rep work because like I said, if you are stronger, which the research is showing quite frequently that the, the lower rep work at a higher percentage of your one rep max is going to produce better results in strength. And if you can move more weight with your low, higher rep work, because you've built more strength with lower rep work, you're going to in turn create more training volume and get better results, but you can't stay down there, right? So we need to just look at it as a whole and find a way to plan our programming in a way that utilizes all different tools that we have and put it together through different phases and different training blocks to get the best possible results. So yes, if we look at research, it typically shows that as long as training volume is equated, you get the same results in muscle building and hypertrophy. But that doesn't mean that there aren't specific advantages to all different types of tr 
training intensities and that it's not a good idea to kind of include some of everything and go through different specific blocks and periods of training to maximize everything to get the best possible results. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. I hope that helps. If anybody has any questions, please let me know and I will talk to you later. Addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving